here is like, um, it's like somewhat facing with death, I think, in a way. Uh, fear is kind of like the response to like your life ending in, in some way or another. But it also can be a feeling of like failing, I guess, being afraid that you're gonna fail. Um, like it's a response to not accomplishing things that you want. So it's, it's like both for me, yeah. So I think that fear is an emotion that comes when something uncomfortable irks you. Um, a lot of people relate it to death I think a lot of our anxieties and fears come from a place of feeling like discomfort will cause death or something in that realm. So I think it's just like a really unpleasant, intense emotion that can affect you physically. So uh, my biggest fear is going to, like physical fear, is heights, feeling that, uh, like, like heights is just, yeah. And then uh, my like existential fear is legacy. So not having a, a, a legacy or something important that people remind me of. <laughs> not remind. <laughs> um, people remember me for. Yeah. So I think that my biggest fear would be not being a good parent. I think that's been something my whole life that I've always been scared of. I think because I've had pretty decent parents, but they've not always been the best. And I think their impact on me has been the greatest in my life. Um, if I look back at really anything that makes me uncomfortable or scared, it somehow relates to them and how they viewed the world and maybe how they taught me about the world. So I want to make sure that my kids don't feel so uncomfortable in life and feel really like they're supported and I want to make sure that I don't have any moment where I can't support them to my best. So when I was like four, I went on a hike and uh, very clearly remember looking over the valley and just having that like instant sense of fear of heights. Um, when I was 12 or 13 is when I started thinking about the legacy fear, like feeling like my life is kind of important now, being a teenager, and then also the, the expectations that I have on me. Uh, so that, that kind of like, I noticed when I was 13 that that fear of impact started to come up, so. Uh, my fear of heights, I think is like a human thing. Like most people don't want to, get off high places, like it's just like a like a physical, I'm gonna die moment. But my fear of, of like not having a legacy is my, it's kind of related to like impact in the world, like not having enough impact. Um, I'm afraid that I haven't done enough as like a human. So yeah, I, I feel like like society is always built on, on improving in small increments. And I feel like if I don't achieve at least some small increment, then I have failed society in a way, so, yeah. So I think I realized I had this fear probably around the beginning of COVID. Um, I think it's because of some things that my parents said, like that I couldn't be a good person all the time or, or different things that made me feel like I was not going to do well in life in general. So feeling like I could parent really was hard. Um, and I think having a puppy really helped because I know that I really care about him. And I know that I'm a pretty good friend, so that helped. But yeah, a lot of it came from my all of that and that's kind of how it developed. So for the heights one, uh... Uh, the easy way is just to not go into high things. <laughs> the hard, the, the more hard way is to actually like push myself to a limit and like experience the feeling of, of being on top of something really high and being safe, like knowing that I'm not actually gonna fall off. Um, I feel like that actually helps like temper my, my fear. Uh, 
the other way, the, the impact one, um, my, my fear is like trying to actually do things to, um, to actually cause impact. So like not being afraid, like not constraining myself uh, to, to just doing what I've always been doing, to try to, to do something new to, to um, push that fear away and um, like always keep improving. I have done a lot of classes learning about child rearing and I've also worked as an assistant teacher for kids and I've realized that I'm really good with them oddly and I really have a connection to them because I realize some of the anxiety going on because I grew up with a lot of anxiety and I'm able to support them in different ways than I think some people I know have and so just learning about how I'm able to relate to kids and how I'm able to treat them and be with them in life really helps me offset that fear. So I think that fears, like the meaning of fears is uh, they're, they're like a part of our human um, experience that's, uh, that doesn't know how to handle like uncertainty or doesn't know how to handle uh, things going wrong and so the the fear is kind of like this emotion to capture that sense of, of existential failure yeah so I think this fear means that I care a lot and I really want to do well in life I, I think it means that I'm motivated to, to be a certain way. Um, yeah, I think if I didn't have this fear, I don't know what I'd be able to think about myself as. I don't know if I'd be so proud of myself or be so ready to be a parent when I am. So I think it's a good thing and I think it means that I really do care and want to love my kids deeply. So, in some senses, yes, the fear does keep me like, it like prevents me from doing things, but in some ways that's healthy, um, that it, it has a barrier because it allows me to like, um, it, it confines me to a space where it's a little bit safer. Um, but at the same time, like my fears do limit me and they, uh, they, they constrain me in ways that aren't healthy. So it's like a, it's a good and a bad, like fear isn't like, yeah, the fears don't necessarily help or hurt. They kind of constrain me in ways that are beneficial and negative. yeah. I'm not sure if this fear in particular is preventing me from doing anything. Um, I think it's causing a lot of stress in some parts of my life when I think about it. But other than that, I think it's been a really helpful fear and I think it's made me a better person and it's growing me into a better person. When I was younger, I definitely avoided um, screwing up, like, because I was afraid that if I didn't make a good impact, I shouldn't make an impact at all. Uh, but when I realized that, I was limiting myself in ways that were, like, detrimental, like, not trying to do things uh, that were not trying to do things that were actually like good for me to get out of my comfort zone, that's when I started to notice that um, my fears were limiting me in ways that were like harmful. So, um, so now I'm, I'm better, but when I was younger, I like didn't do anything. I was very afraid of doing something that would make a bad impact instead of any impact at all. Luckily, because this fear is not so much of a physical one or one that I visually will see something or physically will overcome or something like something like a fear of the ocean, I don't have to avoid it so much and it doesn't feel as scary. So no, I don't think it's prevented me from anything. In fact, I think it's helped me grow a lot.